Notify's Bills module can make it easier for you to manage and organize your incoming bills from vendors. In the Manage Bills screen, we'll see a list of all of our outstanding bills, including overdue and outstanding ones that aren't due yet. To get started, we'll add a new bill here. First, if you'd like, you can upload a copy of the bill document. This way, if you're emailed a PDF, it can be held on file with the rest of the data. Next, we'll choose a vendor. You also have the option to add a new vendor to your account in this screen. You'll be prompted to fill in information about this bill, such as the vendor's invoice number and the due date, and clicking Add Item will prompt you to start filling out the information. This includes what job and phase it's for, as well as which items you're being billed for, the quantity of that item, and the unit price. You can also add multiple lines to bills and allocate them to multiple jobs and phases if necessary. This way, one bill can be allocated to several jobs. Also, the items don't need to come from your database. If you'd like, you can enter anything you'd like, just as it's shown on the bill from the vendor. And as long as you have a quantity and unit price, it'll update the job cost accordingly. Once this information is in the system, clicking Verify and Submit will create this as an open bill in your account and apply the cost to the job. In this screen, we would be able to see the supporting document if we ever had to come back and check later on. We would also have more actions for anything else that we need to do to this bill. Now, we can also add a bill by processing by the PO number that we sent when we initially sent the purchase to the vendor. This way, all we need to do is type in the PO number and it will automatically log all of the different items including their quantities and pricing. However, if we have one bill come in for one vendor that had multiple POs out, we can also enter the vendor name and Nofi will automatically pull in everything that we've purchased from this vendor that hasn't been sent as a bill yet. Clicking the check mark will confirm which items are on the bill and we can adjust the pricing if it doesn't match what we initially sent out in the PO. Then when we hit submit, this will be outstanding just like the bill we had submitted earlier. When bills are outstanding, we can click Record Payment to show Noify that this bill has been paid. Clicking this will prompt for details on the payment, such as any kind of check or ACH numbers, and the total amount if it isn't for the entire amount of the bill. And once this is recorded, you'll see the updated outstanding amount of the bill. You'll also be able to void this payment later on if necessary, in case you need to make adjustments. And back in the Manage Bill screen, we'll be able to see the new balance of this bill, and it will be noted with a blue triangle in the corner of the balance. This screen will also show us which bills are under review or already approved to be paid by other users. In order to submit a bill for review, you open up the Details screen, and in this drop-down menu, you'll see the Submit for Review option. It will pull up a list of potential approvers of this bill, and it will send that user an email prompting them to approve or reject payment to that vendor. Once bills have been paid, we'll be able to reference these later on. Back in my Manage Bills screen, I can click where it says Show History, and this will show me all of my closed bills in the account. We can get more information on them by clicking that same View Details arrow. And if necessary, we can void the payment, which will reopen the bill, so we can record the payment again at a later time if there were any adjustments made. Now back in Manage Bills, that bill will be open and I can record anything else necessary again. If you have any other questions on managing bills in Noify, please do not hesitate to email us at support at noify.com.